Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Also by Nashville Violins, the string player's number one choice for their string instrument needs. Nashville Violins offers everything from lessons to repairs. Make sure you check them out at NashvilleViolin.com. Howdy, everybody. I'm Greta Gaines. Welcome to the show, Emerging Artists. Our guests this week are Cherub. Uh, welcome, guys. How are you? Awesome. Welcome. This is really exciting because I've been watching you guys for a while, and it seems like you are really blowing up. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We, we've definitely been busy. Electro pop dynamic duo. <laughs> yeah. Tell us more about your music and how you guys got together to form this dynamic duo. Um, it's been a really fun two years. That's <laughs> it? Two years? Yeah. It's about it, we're we're right at around two years now we got together in like the beginning of october and our first show was december wow yeah. were you in two separate bands ago. how'd you meet he was in band like i just usually stayed at my house and got crazy and made beats by myself and just you know did my thing and he was <laughs> punch he holes was, in the walls yeah he was out playing shows and like through us meeting he like I don't know, we just used each other's connections and made... We both went to school at MTSU, so we had known each other for a while. Yeah. Um, we, we actually met freshman year. and uh, Were you studying music at, at, mm -hmm. in Murfreesboro? You both were. We were both going to school for a music production. A lot of really intensely awesome music has come out of Murfreesboro. It's, I don't know if everybody knows great, that, but back in the early 90s, yeah. like the Biscuits, some of the best bands I th were coming out of Murfreesboro. Mm -hmm. Do you attribute that to the school? or? Definitely the program. It's a good way to connect. That's how we met each other, yeah. but... And you were studying electronic music? Um, no, we were doing recording industry. So it was like basically the engineering part. And, you know, like s maybe six months in, I figured out I didn't want to do that. So yeah. I just dropped out. What are Started they making music and working at Subway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when I left. Um, the, live shows are, the live shows are incredibly exciting. And you guys Thank are you. building your whole base from that, right? Yeah. Uh, tell us how... As indie musicians, we were talking earlier, and you said the the major labels don't, they haven't come courting quite yet. What, how are you building your whole business model on being these two uh, indie guys working together? Well, I think the thing about it is, is like as strong as the internet is, it still has like a power and a lasting effect to see somebody in person. And so like us busting ass to go to place to place and play in front of ten people, but then next time it's like a hundred people because they were stoked that's like it's all love and those people stick with you and like keep up to date with things and you know support your shit and tell other people about it by word of mouth and it's just the way it's always worked the way it's always worked like organic like traditional it, yeah it's a more grassroots approach to things you know we we give all our music away for free and that in turn is the greatest tool to spread us and you know wait so you've released two EPs yes. one full length LP yeah, mom uh -huh. and dad, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and the other one, man of the hour. Mm -hmm. And you've released all that music for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do and you make we have, money? We have physical copies to release uh, at shows if they want to buy them. But I mean, we make all of our money off of sh off of shows right now. Mm -hmm. And we we've, we've been playing. I mean, we would make it off of selling merch, but we're so Dude. bad at it. We just give it all away after the show. <laughs> I I just like <coughs> within the past couple months, I've been paying rent off with our show money, and it just makes me yeah. like want to like pop a hundred bottles. 100 bottles. Speaking of popping 100 <laughs> bottles, you have an incredible song called Doses and Mimosas, uh -huh. Champagne oh. and Cocaine. Yeah. Is that your motto for the band? Um, it's not really a motto. Is that how you it's guys just, roll, though? Um, do you like to party? I mean, you plead the fifth on that, and you kind of just <laughs> kick it, and you can do whatever you want. I'm not, you know, promoting anything or endorsing anything. We I go just, on stage sober. Yeah, okay. we do go on stage sober. But you like to stay up late. So we, after the show, like anything could happen. Late. Yeah. Tell me about the shooting <laughs> of the video, because that looked like that was a fun night. That was like two nights of staying up really late. Yeah. And then like compiling all the footage and editing it. Wow. It was it was a lot of fun. That was essentially the whole concept was go to New York City, have a crazy time, and see what happens. But you, you do want to charge for music eventually. I mean, I know it costs yeah. you money to make it. Yeah, I mean, eventually, I mean, yeah, we want to we want to charge for, for our music. I mean, I feel like it's worth something. Maybe. No, I, I definitely do, you know, eventually. Yeah. 
to a certain extent, but I mean, like, honestly, I would keep releasing it for free if people continue to, like, support us and, like, you know, I show us love it, live. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's just There's a fun. difference between sharing the music itself and then creating uh, a package for somebody <laughs> to, you know, want to buy then, too. They're, Jordan and I are always big fans of, like, getting a physical CD and you unwrap the CD and you smell the CD when you open it and then you read the liner notes and it, there's something nostalgic about that that we both appreciate. Yeah, so the idea would yeah, we, be... We we're sound gonna, sappy. So. <laughs> no, but everybody who grew up with LPs feels that way. There's, there's yeah. a real connection and you read yeah. the liner notes. Everything I learned about the music business, I studied, you know, who, who engineered this, who mixed that. Mm -hmm. It's cool. So the idea would be to give away a bunch of the music MP3 form, get them into the show, sell, sell them a hard copy of the CD, some merch, and hook them that way? Yeah, well, I mean, it's... If you're sitting there on the internet, you're not gonna want to tell your friend like, "Hey, I just had this. I just got this awesome album. Here's a link to it. Pay fifteen dollars for it and listen to it." You're Have gonna models. send them something that's like, "Here's this for free. Enjoy it. Tell five friends." And then I've never heard like, this though. This is new to me. I mean, I, I, and I see it's, it's working for you guys. I think yeah. it's more the EDM scene that's doing that. Well, free music. Oh, Radiohead was one of the first people to be doing. Radiohead it. did it, but they're also. I mean, they're not EDM. Uh, but they but, they're in a league of their own. Of yeah, course, they're but, you know. They're they're doing it. So they're, maybe five years. They're like years? 300 bottles. Yeah, you guys said no, that, man, no. that <laughs> the major labels have started to come courting. What's it gonna take for you guys? Because I mean, it's not just me saying this. The rest of the world is saying this. That um, you guys have what it takes to just be absolutely huge. Thank you. And yeah, um, it. what's it gonna take for you to get a major label, um, a good enough deal? To know in our minds that we can have a lucrative career doing what we're doing. Mm. I don't want to sell. Creative control. I don't want to sell my soul away and hate my music career for the rest of my life. You know, because. It's hard to know sometimes at the time, though, you know, whether mm -hmm. this is the deal from heaven or from hell. I mean, there, there comes a point with the major where you are rolling the dice no matter yeah. what. I, I, little bit of advice for me is just make sure you like them. Like, that sounds weird, but like, there are some good people left in the oh, music I, yeah. business, you know? Well, Our manager is one of them. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. he's been around forever. He knows the game, like, and he's seen it change. And he's met everyone. Right. And you know, it's just one of those things. There's people that that want to look out for you and be good people, and there's people that want to just like be a vulture and like take. That's yeah. you know? that's the way we like. But feel that's people pe out. that's life in general. So you just kind of gotta just. We have Italian dinners with our team. And if you can have an Italian dinner with your team, then they're good people. Hundred bottles. Yep. I like that. I like. <laughs> I like that. Hundred bottles. If you can have an Italian dinner with your team, you're on the right team. Everyone cooks. Uh, really? Jordan makes a ragu. So what it's are really some good. highlights from oh, the road? Sure highlights from the road and some bad things from the road. They're all highlights, even the bad things, because they're so <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're just so ridiculous. I don't even know some of the stories that I could. I can't even. Begin. Jordan's got some awesome tattoos on the road. I've got. I've gotten tattoos in basements. I have. Um, I recently. Well, I mean, I've. I've done lots of shit. I got my first <laughs> IV in Mexico <laughs> on tour. tour. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Yeah, you got. You got oh. I got the shingles diarrhea. on tour. He's got shingles. Awful. Oh, I've had shingles. That is no, no joke. No, it's not fun at all. And you're so young. <laughs> Dude, it was so sad to watch. It made me cry. You no, guys are really didn't. close. Like, do you ever fight? I mean, it's like more intense than a marriage. You well, spend every day. You make music. You travel. We live well, together too. Yeah. 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 We. I mean, you know, if one of one of us is pissing the other person off, then we know when to like back off. And we've never ever had an issue that's like gotten buried down and like boiled up. We just like talk about it, and it gets solved like there. That's Me awesome. and him, like, we don't snake around and yeah. like, do stupid things behind each other's backs. We're good about staying like that. That is good. Yeah. Good advice for everybody. And it's been like that for a while. It's, it's nothing fickle, you know? I yeah. fucking love you, man. He, he knows, like, there will be times when I tell him, like, just leave me alone. Walk away. I you don't want to be cry. around me. Yeah. I will not be rational right now. And he's really good about just I hear that. recognizing that. You know, there are times when he goes into his room. We both have our time. But, like, we, we're pretty much together all the time. It's, it's seriously, it's pretty intense. Yeah. We don't think about <laughs> it, but like, we're with each other a lot. Like, I've never been with someone this much in close proximity in my life. Oh, Just wow. being in the studio last night, our uh, producer, Nick, he, he was talking about how he can hear each, both of us influencing each other more and more each record we record. It's really funny. Mm -hmm. Musically influence mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what are you working on right now? What's coming up? 
new music. We're really stoked. Yeah, yeah. you it's, told it's me you're up for three days. This must yeah. be really exciting. Yeah, yeah, I've been up for three days. It's better than I, I can feel it right now that I'm in the real world right now. Like, I've been in a studio and I can do whatever I want and just, like, play music. Now that I'm, like, carrying a conversation, I definitely feel the three days of no sleep because, <laughs> like, my brain is trying to, like, stay with you. Okay. And it's, it's easy because you're good at carrying conversation, but, uh, yeah. So, but yeah, it's really, really good. Um, it's thank you for staying awake, and thank you for staying awake you for long, us. long enough to play us a song. I was actually scared to like crash at like eight this morning because yeah. I knew I wouldn't have woken up in time for this. Yeah. So I just was like, all right. We I go. curled up on the couch like a little baby. Aww. I couldn't make it. And you got your one hour. <laughs> My one hour. All right. So, what's do we have a name for the new EP that's coming out? Do we no. have any any info? But. I did get an idea. It was an epiphany in my head about the front cover for the album, and we're gonna be in LA in like near Christmas time. And I called, I called this Hollywood animals place, and we're running out of. Well, we were originally gonna run out of tiger, yeah. but we're gonna run out of a uh, leopard now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a leopard um, for the front cover to sit with us. Named. Shayna? I don't know the yeah, name. Mike is. Tyson, I hear, name? lets his, his. Everyone keeps <laughs> talking about Mike Tyson because he lets his tigers just roam around. And then he got he got he let him roam around and somebody went to steal one, and then they mauled the guy and then and I then did Mike, hear and then they this. sued yeah. Mike Tyson. That's, That's America a for you. Yeah. Steal the tiger. Yeah, but I like the tiger <laughs> idea. It reminds me of the Hangover. Well, will you be in town early December? We will. Well, we'll That's figure it out. Not, That's no, the only we'll thing that we're little okay. kids about. We like yeah. our schedule is. I'm stoked on it, but. Yeah. We don't know where we're going to be. Like, people ask yeah. us. It's like, probably well, good not to think too far out ahead of you because, you know, you got to take it one day at a time. Yeah, I got all my shit in a suitcase right now, and that's how I'm living. He is ready yep. to go. Cherub oh. is ready to go. We're going to hear a, so a song. First time in the new studio. Yeah. Super exciting. What's the name of the new song? <coughs> we're going to well, hear. It's, or not it's a off new song. Mom and Dad. The yeah. Mom and Dad album is called mm -hmm. Hold Me. And Hold we, we, we don't play it acoustic that much. Well, you know, just the guitar and me singing, so we're stuck. This will be special. This will be special. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. um, where can everybody check you out? <coughs> Charitablemusica.com, all over the United States currently, and uh, Facebook.com. Doc, Facebook and so are you available for a private house party when, when we do, when we can get you for a Talkopolis um, shindig? 100 bottles. Yes. 100 bottles, that is all it costs. 100, 100 bottles of what? We'll have to find out later. But this has been awesome having Cherub in the studio. Stick around. We're going to have a live performance. You've been watching Emerging Artists, the one and only Cherub. These guys are going to be huge, so check them out right now today. Get on board. Get some free music. And we'll see you next week. Woo. Thank you. Microcasting for your city. Talk Opolis.